Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading from now until the end of October. So, this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. This reading is for somebody, not everybody. Okay, so whoever it is for, it's for. Whoever it's not for, it's not for you. So there is some sort of indecision here. You may be you may be feeling like you're being wrongly judged or you're being criticized for some reason, wrongly criticized. Mm, loss of power or loss of awareness. Now there's some deception here as well. Delays. Something is delayed. There's like a block in communication here. Somebody may have blocked communication. Maybe it was you. Maybe it was the other person. It's like there's no forward action. It's like you can't get through. You can't get through. There's no movement. Magician reverse. This is a, a very tricky situation, right? It is. You may be dealing with a very crafty individual, or it's you. Who knows? But you need to... This is the end of something that was very burdensome. This is heavy. Whatever it is that you're carrying around is heavy. It needs to be let go. You need to find the strength to do so, but you haven't. You haven't found the strength to let go of something. It's like you're thinking about it, but you're not taking any action. You need to find the strength to truly, fully find your power, find the resources, find whatever it is inside of you that is needed to let go. There's a lack of willpower here. There's a lack of discipline. And you're not taking action. If you have to take action to bring success to your life, if you don't take action... There won't be any success. And right now you're holding on to something that is burdensome. It's baggage. It's heavy. It's weighing you down. And it's not progressing you forward. It's time to accept the truth. This is wake up. This is a wake up call. And you're refusing. I mean, this is a wake up call, but it's reversed, okay? It's time. You can't deny this anymore. Okay, you can't. It's time to wake up and accept the truth of a situation. You may be go through, going through a period of self-loathing. Whatever, that's a period. Doesn't mean it's going to last forever. And this is you refusing to wake up, okay? <sighs> refusing to release. This heaviness, this burden, this baggage that you can't make it be. Things are a little chaotic right now. There could be a loss in money. There could be a loss in... Almost like your equilibrium. You may feel like things are a little wacky. Right now, things are out of control. <laughs> and it's because you're not listening. You're not listening. You may be going through some sort of repression right now. You may feel like you've, there's a loss of self here because you've been through something that has like taken your power away. Your power has been like stripped, okay? Has, has. You have the resources to take it back. But the only way you're going to get it back is to find the strength to do so and to drop it, drop it. This person, yeah, they may be misjudging you. They may be. They may have criticized you and judged you wrongly. 
But you can't control that person. It's out of your control. You can't control the circumstances. You can't fix it, per se. This is, whatever this is, there's no way There's no reconciliation. There's no resurrection. The only thing that you can do now is wake up and accept the truth of whatever this is. Oh, God. I got to put that candle out. I don't want my cat's tail to catch on fire. <laughs> he just jumped up on the table and God forbid. Anyway, um... Something is, is being blocked, and you could be blocking the truth. But communication is definitely blocked. You, either you've blocked it or they've blocked it. And you're still holding on to something that is weighing you down, refusing to release it, hoping for a reconciliation of some sort that's not going to happen. Um, you may feel like you've been cheated. Maybe there was some cheating that happened. Maybe the other person feels like they've been cheated. I mean, this is the Seven of Swords, right? There's been some deception. There's been some lies. There could have been some cheating. You know, you have Leo here and Leo here. I don't know if you're dealing with a Leo. We have Gemini. We have Pisces. We have Scorpio. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Leo twice right in the middle. It feels like there's a really unhappy situation here where there's no growth. Could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, where there's a need to back up, stop moving in that direction. Okay. There's no movement in that direction. There's no change in that direction with the, them two, two knights, okay? The knight of wands and the knight of swords, both reversed. There's no forward movement. There's no, no matter, you can't head in that direction. There's no stability there. There's no security there. It's over. That phase in your life, there's no more growth, okay? This opportunity it has slipped away. There's absolutely no more ability for growth in that situation. There's no, there's too many feuds. There was too much fighting. So what about the future? We want to know about the future. So I feel like you guys are, perhaps you're wanting to go back to something. You may be wanting to go back. You may be wanting a reconciliation, um, but I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. I feel like this person has blocked you or you blocked them. And then it could go vice versa. Somebody could want a reconciliation with you and you're like, no. There's, this is an absolute no, okay? The magician is a no in reversed. There's no chance, and you got to look what's mirroring it, the judgment card reversed. There's no chance of reconciliation here. Whatever it is, there's no growth. But we want to know, we want to know about the future. And look, is there any new love for the end of this month? Or are these guys still? Well, there's a there's negative thinking, there's sadness. So you may be going through a period of sadness, clinging to the past. You're clinging to this person, feeling betrayed, feeling hurt. You may have you may be closing off your heart at this time. You may be like, you know what? I'm cold, cold at this point. You know, I'm not emotionally available at all. You may be closing, shutting down. Because perhaps somebody's ego got in the way. Oh, God. They're, I mean, that's what this is. You may feel like you've been defeated in love. And now you, you could be lying to yourself. You could be... Um, Putting barriers around your heart because you're so hurt over this situation. There's been some deception here. Somebody has lied. But I'm here to tell whether it's you or the other person. 
ego, something was driven by ego, brought somebody down, somebody decided to walk away, and they, they don't want a reconciliation. And now we have this mystery here. There's more to this than meets the eye. There is. There's a hidden force here. There's a reason why this happened. There's a reason why this ended. There's a reason why... Even though you don't know what it is. There wasn't... It wasn't the right time. There was there was there was too many ups and downs in the relationship, right? There was too many ups and downs. And you may and like I said, your equilibrium is off. Whatever has happened has really thrown you off. You're you're really like out of balance right now. You're you're not feeling peaceful, you're not feeling harmonious. I think you may be maybe you're trying to hide your pain with some sort of addictions. Right now. And I see that you guys are probably on your own. Working on yourselves. Which is what is needed by the looks of things. You may not be open to love at this time. Because you need to get your shit back in line. You need to get back together. You need to enjoy life. You need to get back to the point of happiness. Single and I love it. The storm is really over, even though you may not see it that way. This door that has closed was too unharmonious. There was too much fighting. There was too much. Uh, There's too much fighting, bitterness, not bitterness, but animosity, feuds, and you're better off on your own. And I think that you know that, but you're still hurting because you're such a lover, right? You are the king and queen of cups, right? So now you may be shutting down your heart. I'm going to work on me. I'm going to bring back my stability. I'm going to bring back my security. I'm going to bring back my self-worth. It's all about me right now. So I feel like deep down, or not even deep down, even on the surface, you may want some sort of reconciliation that isn't feasible. It's not feasible. I think you know it, but you don't want to believe it. It hurts. I see the, I see the heartache. I see the pain. And now you may not be open to falling in love right now because you're working on you. Wait, regaining your balance. It's not time, right? It's not time. You've just been stabbed, hurt, like you feel betrayed. There's been some secrets. There's been some lies. There absolutely has been. That has caused something to fall apart. But I'm here to tell you that the storm is over. And your abundance is coming back slowly but surely. You're still thinking about going back though. You are. It's like I just, you don't even know. if You want to go back. You want to go back. Because that's what you knew, right? But there's no love there. There's no love there. There's no reconciliation with whoever it is that you want to go back to or they want to go back to you. I don't see a reconciliation. It just, it's not the right time. This all happened for a reason. Trust me, it did. There's a purpose for this. It was time to move on. You will get to a better spot if you keep going. But you may be going through a period of bitterness, resent. Or the person that you're dealing with is bitter and resentful. There's bitterness and there's resent. And I feel like you may be angry. You may be having some periods of anger. And you may feel like it, it, things aren't done. There's a lack of closure here. You may feel like that. But this person is not in a place to speak with you, so I wouldn't even do it if I was you. Oh my God, there's a lot of animosity between two people here. Something ended on a harsh note. 
And you may be feeling like this, this phase, this chapter, this relationship, whatever it is, isn't closed yet. And maybe it's not because you're still holding on to it. You have to make a conscious change to drop it. Love yourself. Work on you. And abundance will come back. You're not a victim. And you may see your, this is five of pentacles, it's victim mentality. You may see yourself as a victim here. That's your own thoughts, right? It is. Believe it or not, you have an opportunity to go in another direction. You do. Face your insecurities. Maybe you just want to go back to this person for codependent reasons. Because you don't want to be alone. Maybe that's one of your life lessons right now. To take care of business on your own. Face your insecurities. I think it's a time to sharpen your skills. And regain the confidence that you has been lost in some sort of situation. It's time to get back to your own abundance. It's time to get back. Bring back yourself. So wherever, whatever it is that has held you back. And caused you to lose your self-confidence and your self-worth and your self-respect the whole nine yards. It's time to bring it back. Work on yourself during this time. Do I see new love coming in? No, I don't. Because I feel like you guys have just gotten out of something that was very whew, rough. Okay, rough. And I see that you guys are being called to work on you. And drop the baggage that you are still holding on to. Part of the baggage is bitterness, angry, grief. Wanting a reconciliation just because you don't want to be alone. You, it's not love. Even though you may think that it is, okay, it's not. Love does not fight constantly. Okay, it doesn't. Or that tent. They don't. They don't. There's, there's. Love is supposed to be fairly easy. I mean, it's not always easy, but I feel as though there's no offer of love coming in right now because you are being called to work on yourself. Get your mojo back. Trust that this happened for a reason. Let go of the past. Stop clinging. This is clinging to the past. Let go of it. There's no resurrection. No. This is a no. Resurrection. No reconciliation with the past. It's time for you to move on. Release. Release. Where is that six of swords? Move on. Release. There is no reconciliation. There's not a reconciliation. It hurts. I know that it hurts. And you haven't, you're not healed with this temperance card, wherever it is, reversed. You have some healing work that needs to be done. Take the time to heal. Do I see new love coming in? No, I don't. I don't. I think that you guys have some sort of, you've been through some sort of situation that requires closure.
And the closure is in your hands because you're still holding on to it. I think the door has been closed and you're not allowing. It's time to move on. You will get to that better place if you stop resisting this healing that is needed. Give yourself time. Let it go. The answer is no. I'm sorry, Scorpio. Doesn't mean that you won't find love. It's just that the time isn't now. It's not, the time isn't right now. I'm not going to sell you a pipe dream that says, that says some pretty little message that says, Oh, love is coming. Not right now. You have some healing to do. Period. Good luck.